Denmark has just announced a major defense partnership with Ukraine to develop AI-powered drone destroyers. This comes as Europe faces an escalating threat from enemy drones targeting critical infrastructure and military assets. Denmark's defense giant Terma Group confirmed yesterday they're joining forces with Ukrainian drone specialist Odd Systems. Philip Wrench Jakobsen, vice president at Terma, declared, They have demonstrated extraordinary capabilities under extreme conditions and at a pace and cost unmatched by Western manufacturers. The partnership aims to create autonomous interceptor drones capable of hunting and destroying enemy UAVs without human control. But here's what makes this partnership different from typical defense contracts. Ukrainian forces have been battling thousands of Russian drones daily since 2022. They've learned exactly what works and what doesn't in real combat conditions. Now they're combining that battlefield experience with Denmark's advanced sensor technology. Yaroslav Azhnyuk, co-founder of Odd Systems, explained the stakes. Such cooperation between the teams from Ukraine and the EU are crucial for the future of European security. The system will target everything from cheap commercial drones to sophisticated attack platforms like the Shahed. These Iranian-designed drones have terrorized Ukrainian cities for months. Traditional air defenses struggle against small, low-flying targets that cost just thousands of dollars. Ukraine's Digital Transformation Minister Mikhailo Fedorov revealed progress is already underway. This topic has been successfully hacked by Ukraine in a positive sense, and we're already seeing the first results. Denmark brings serious credentials to this partnership. Terma supplies critical systems for F-35 and F-16 fighter jets. They're integrating that expertise into drone platforms that cost a fraction of traditional air defense systems. The timing isn't random. Ukraine now produces up to 4 million drones annually. That's up from just tens of thousands in early 2022. They've become a global leader in tactical drone manufacturing through necessity. President Zelensky has publicly committed Ukraine to destroying incoming Russian drones using this technology. His government sees autonomous interceptors as essential for protecting cities and infrastructure. Electronic warfare alone isn't enough against drone swarms or hardened platforms. This partnership reflects a broader shift in European defense thinking. Rather than waiting for American solutions, Europe is developing its own counter-drone capabilities. The project emphasizes modularity and rapid adaptation based on frontline feedback. Terma's official statement frames their approach clearly. As the nature of warfare changes, so too does the architecture of defense. The interceptors will use AI to identify, track, and engage targets autonomously. No human operator needed once the system activates. Thermal imaging, electronic warfare, and kinetic kill mechanisms work together in one platform. Cost matters here. Traditional missile-based air defenses can cost millions per shot. These drone interceptors promise effective defense at a fraction of that price. For cash-strapped militaries, that's a game-changing proposition. No technical specifications or prototype photos exist yet. Both companies remain tight-lipped about specific capabilities, but the goal is clear. Fully autonomous platforms that function in complex electronic warfare environments. The partnership marks Ukraine's evolution from drone consumer to technology producer. They're not just buying Western equipment anymore, they're co-developing cutting-edge systems based on hard-won combat experience. For Denmark, this represents smart defense investment. They gain access to Ukrainian battlefield innovation while contributing world-class sensor technology. It's practical cooperation that delivers results without bureaucratic delays. European security faces a new reality where cheap drones threaten expensive infrastructure. This Danish-Ukrainian partnership offers a solution that's affordable, scalable, and battle-tested. If successful, it could transform how NATO countries defend against the growing drone threat. The question now, will other European nations follow Denmark's lead in partnering with Ukraine's combat-proven drone industry?